Welcome back, Impact Family. Alrighty, we have find the GCF of 40 and 140. Okay, so GCF, what that means is greatest common factor. So let's start with 40. And let's ask ourselves, what times what gives you 40? Well, 4 times 10 is one way to get 40. Okay, and then what times what gives us 4? 2 times 2, okay? We're stopping at 2 because 2 is called a prime. And a prime is a number that can only go into, um, that only has one in itself as a factor, okay? So that's why we're stopping here. So what times what gives us 10? 2 times 5, okay? So when you think about what times what gives you 2, only 2 and 1. So that's a prime. 5 is another prime. Only 5 times 1 gets you 5, okay? Now let's jump to 140. So we have 140. And then you got to ask yourself, what times what gets you 140? Well, 14 times 10 gets us 140. And we already know what 10 is because we just did it right here. We have a 2 and a 5. And we know those are primes now because they're primes over here. Now, what times what gives us 14? Well, 2 times 7. And 7 is a prime because only 1 times 7 gets you 7 and 2. So now, if we list these out, 40 has 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. And then 140 has two twos, has one five, and a seven. So now we're looking for what they have in common. That's why it's called a greatest common factor. So they have a pair of twos here, another pairs of twos, and a five. So our greatest common factor, our G, C, F, would be two times two. Okay, so we're so this is one. Two, we have, although we have a pair, they come out as one. Okay, so here goes one pair. That's another two, and then we have our five. So if we multiply that out, two times two gets us four, and then four times five gets us twenty. So our greatest common factor is twenty. That's the greatest number that can go into both of these. All right, let's talk about the LCM. Okay, so the LCM is the least common multiple, okay? So multiples, what you think about is numbers that are bigger than the ones that you're given. So if we look at 16, we're looking at, so our first multiple of 16 is 16. The next multiple is gonna be 32. Okay, that's the second multiple. Then to get our next one, if we do 16 times 3, so 3 times 6 is 8, carry the 1. And then 3 times 1 is 1 plus 1 gives us 48. So it would be 48. So we would have 16, 32, 48, okay, and then let's do another one. Let's add, let's do it. Let's add another 16 here and let's find the fourth multiple. So eight plus 16 gives us a four and then four plus two gets us 64. All right, so let's do 20, okay? So the first multiple of 20, oh, let's do it in a different color, will be 20. The second multiple would be 40. The third multiple, so 20 times 3, okay, that's really what you're thinking, 20 times 3 would be 60, okay? The fourth multiple would be 80, okay? And then the fifth multiple, okay, if we add another 20, would give us 100. So right now we're looking, we still don't have any common multiple yet. So let's return back to our 16. So we were on, this was the first, second, third, fourth. Let's do the fifth multiple by adding another 16. 
So six plus four gives us 10, carry the one. And then six plus two gets us eight. So 80. We just found our first common multiple and it's the least common multiple. That means it's the smallest one. So our LCM, if we look here, our LCM is going to be 80 for number two. All right, we talked a little bit about primes, okay? So now number three asks us, what is the prime? Okay, that's a key word right there. Prime, okay? If you don't understand what a prime is, this problem becomes impossible, okay? Remember, a prime is a number that only one in itself can go into. Factorization of 26 to the third power. Okay, we also have to understand what exponents are, right? So if we get 26 to the third power, we're thinking about 26 times 26 times 26. But we're doing prime factorization. So we're gonna draw our trees and I'm gonna ask myself, what times what gives me 26? Well, I don't have to guess because my answers are right here. So, oh, they only using two and 13. So two times 13 gives me 26. Then I have this 26, well, two times 13, and another two times 13. I know to stop here because 13 is a prime. And how I know that is because when I think of what times what gets me 13, only one times 13 can get you 13. So that's how you know when to stop. All right, so now let's list them all out. So for... 26 to the third power, we have how many twos? One, two, three. And we have one, two, three. Three thirteens. So by now, I'm hoping you see your answer is D. All righty, let's keep on learning. Okay, what is the greatest common factor of 50, 60, and 75? So when you think about a factor, remember it has to be a number smaller than all of these, okay? We're doing the opposite of multiples. So let's break down 50. So what times what gives you 50? What came to my mind is five times 10. I'm gonna stop at five because that's a prime. One times five is the only thing that can get you five. And then 10, two times five. And those are primes. So we're circling our primes. Let's go to 60. So six times 10. And then what times what gives us six? Two times three. Well, two is a prime and three is a prime because only one times three can get you three. And we already have Two, we already have the 10 here, so we're just gonna copy that. And then let's go to 75. And when you think about 75, think about quarters, think about money, okay? It takes 325 to make 75 cents. And then three is a prime, okay? And then what times what gives you 25? Well, five times five. So let's list them out. So we have 50, we have a two times five times five. For 60, we have a two times two times three times five. And then for 75, we have a three and a five times five. So we're looking for something that they all have in common, all three numbers. And the only thing that I can see that all three numbers have in common is this one um, trio of fives. So our greatest common factor, our GCF is going to be 
just five. So B is our answer. Remember, you're not multiplying these out. No, no, no. You're just seeing what they have in common. And they have one pair of five in common. All righty, let's go to the next. So number five says, what is the LCM of seven, nine, and 21? So remember, we're looking at least common multiple. Okay, and so when we think about multiples, we're thinking about numbers bigger than the ones that they give us, okay? So let's start with seven. So our first multiple of seven is seven, seven times one. Our second multiple is seven times two, which is 14. Our third multiple, seven times three is 21. Our fourth multiple is 28. Fifth multiple is 35. And our... Um, six multiple is 42. Then seven times seven, which is our seventh multiple is 49. And then eighth multiple is 56. And our ninth multiple is 63. Okay. And our 10th multiple is 70. So let's stop there. Let's work on some nines. All right. So we have nine now. So nine is our first, 18 is our second, our third is 36. Is that right or is that the fourth? The third would be 27. Okay, so let's correct that. Ooh, let's write it in black. So 27 is our third, our fourth is 36, our fifth is 45, and then our fifth, six, nine times six. 54, nine times seven, 63. All right, let's stop there because, ooh, I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Now let's see what 21 is gonna do for us. So 21, our first multiple is 21. Our second to 21 doubled is gonna give us 42. Our third multiple is gonna give us 63. And so what we can see is what they all have in common, the least common multiple, the first one that they all have in common is 63. So B is our answer. All right, let's get to, into this prime factorization, okay? To make sure we have it. What is the prime factorization of 140? All right, hopefully you pause this video right here and you try to work it out and then see if you get it right. So again, we're gonna start with 140. We're gonna do what times what gives us 140? Well, 14 times 10 gets us 140. And then what times what gets us 14? Two times seven. And what times what gets us 10? Two times five. And so we're gonna circle, 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 circle. So we know 140, the prime factorization is going to be two twos, one five, and one seven. So if you said C was your answer, you were right on. Congrats, congrats. Thanks for watching. And I most definitely will catch you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Alrighty, bye Impact Fam.